Hi, uh, my name is John. I'll be going over the law of signs with you um, today in this lecture. We're going to be doing four, four examples and we're going to be doing about five different types of problems that will be on your textbook. Usually, uh, most textbooks uh, in trigonometry will use the law of signs quite extensively, so you should have this memorized. The law of signs, anyway. Before we start, let's do a little bit of uh, geometry review. The five ways to prove the congruence of triangles. Uh, first, everything's done in prompt two, so um, I'm making things up as I go, basically. So, not making things up, but I kind of remember most of the rules most of the time. Uh, the five different ways to prove triangles are congruent is the SSS, SAS, and the opposite of SA is ASA. And the fourth one is you can't use the word ASS because it's a bad word. So you're going to use AAS and then the HL. The HL is pretty simple. We're not going to be using the HL very much because that's Sokotoa. C-A-H-T-O-A. -A. Uh, when we have the situation for SAS and the ASS, we're going to use the law of signs. LOS for short. Okay? So we're going to use the law of signs for the ASA and the AAS situation. And if there's a law of signs, I presume there should be a law of cosines. We're going to be going over the law of cosines later on. But here's what the law of signs says. The sine of the angle A over the little a is equal to the sine of the angle B over little b is equal to the sine of angle C over little c. What does that mean? Uh, the sine of the angle over that opposite side is proportional to the sine of angle B over little b, the opposite side. So we're going to draw the triangle out. Always draw the triangle out before you start so that you can see which one you're going to be using. I'm going to leave this side uh, angle A, angle B, angle C. It doesn't matter if you use A, B, C, A, B, C. It doesn't really matter. The angle A opposite is called little a. And most books have this standardized, so you should remember this. Obviously, angle B, opposite side that is little b right there. And angle C is conversely, little c. So there we have it. We have the law of signs. You can use, most books come with a proof. The proof is in the pudding. They break it up this way. And you can you basically just prove things out if you want. Okay. So let's start with example number one. Uh, on the next page. Uh, this is page two, example one. It says a triangle ABC, angle A is equal to 30 degrees, B, angle B is equal to 70 degrees, and little a is equal to 8.07 meters. And you want to find the length of little c, question mark. So we draw the triangle out, Something like this. Let's label this A, B, and C. Notice I did draw it to about 30 degrees. This is probably 90, but I should have made it a little bit smaller angle, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you make it approximate, it's fine. That's 30 degrees, 70 degrees, and little a is opposite the side, so it's going to be 8.0. We have to find little c, which is located right here. And little b is located opposite the angle b. So we got this down so far. Uh, we also know something else. We know that the law of sines, LOS for short, is equal to the sine of angle A over little a is equal to the sine, the ratio of the sine of the angle to the opposite side. Excuse me. And the sine of big C over the ratio of the sine of that angle to the little side C. Since these two are equal, these two are equal, and these two are equal, all three of them are in proportion, in other words. Again, let me say that again. So sine of the angle over A, that's the ratio, equal to another ratio, that's called the proportion. So there it is right there. We're going to use sine of A over little a, because we have the angle A, we have little a, is equal to sine of the angle C. We can figure that out. Pretty simple, over little c. 
since this is 70-30, this is all triangles add up to 180 degrees. So this is 100, must be 80 degrees. Angle C is equal to 100 degrees. What we do at this stage, I'm going to put out my calculator just a little bit. Work, up, work with my calculator. Okay. Um, sine of angle A is 30 degrees all over 8 is equal to the sine of 80 degrees over little c. Sorry about that. Uh, we cross multiply. C times the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 8 times the sine of 80 degrees. Take this number, multiply by that, take that number, multiply by that, and they're always equal. That's called cross multiply, right? Solving for angle uh, side C, we have to take the sine 30. Since this is being multiplied, we divide it by the sine of 30. So little c is equal to 8 times the sine of 80 degrees all over the sine of 30 degrees. Let's do it on my calculator really quickly. So 8, um, you can't see this very well, I'll show you to you a little bit later on. 8 times the sine, you notice I did, right here, I did not put multiply in this situation. You can see a little bit better. Oops, get the angle just right. Kind of, kind of hard to get the angle, okay? 8 times the sine of 30, of, excuse me, 80, divided by the sine of 30 degrees. Excuse me, the sine of 30. And you can kind of see what I did uh, near the back end. And, um, you don't need to put M parentheses unless you're squaring errors or something like that. So never put M parentheses. And we check that out. It comes out to be like 8.4, 8.04. Well, what happened here is I did it on purpose, guys. I went into mode. And I'm in radians right here. This is the mode right there. You're in the wrong mood. You can't study. Same thing. In the wrong mode, you get the wrong answer. So I go to degrees. And I press enter. So you should have been in the degree mode. Let's try this again. Second entry. There's an entry in the enter button right in the on the top. It has an entry button. Entry button. Second entry. It will reproduce the. Uh, information so that you just did. This is your best friend, guys. Say hello, best friend. Hello, best friend. So here it is, right there. Oh, I can see, you can see a little bit better. You can use the back arrow key to get to it if you want. So eight sine of uh, thirty, eighty divided by the sine of thirty. And notice when you press enter, I get a different number. Seventeen point eight. I'm sorry, fifteen point eight. I'm looking at the computer right now as I'm doing this. So this is absolutely wrong. It should have been 15.8. Okay, make sure you're in the right mood when you start these problems. Did we get it right? Let me just check. Yeah, 15.8, or since it's too significant figure, approximately 16 centimeters. This guy, Charles P. McKeek, he loves centimeters. I have no idea why, but anyways. <laughs> Let's start with the next example, okay? Page 3, example 2. So they give you the triangle, they give you the angle B, which is 34 degrees. They give you angle C is equal to 82 degrees. They give you little a is equal to 5.6 centimeters, okay? Um, on this example right over here, we're going to draw the triangle out again. You don't have to draw it nice and neat. You can just make sure you draw the triangle line so you know where A, B, C is. Oh, and by the way, before we end on this note right here, we forgot to do a little something. Notice something, A, B, C. Uh, they give you 30, 70, and then little a is 8.0. You have an angle, angle size situation. The side uh, is outside between the two angles. So here's A, A, S. 
So when you have an AAS situation, as previously, as previously stated, AAS, you're going to be using the law of signs. Okay? So let's get back and finish the rest of example number two. In this situation, B is equal to 34 degrees. Little c is equal to 82 degrees. Should have been a little bit bigger, but it doesn't really matter. The side little a is opposite the angle, so it's going to be 5.6 centimeters. Make sure you draw the triangle out again. Now let's see, let's see what kind of situation this is. This is an angle side angle situation. A S A situation. And let me go back to my notes a little bit. Here it is. The angle side angle situation. You're going to use the law of sides. Okay. Got it, guys? Okay. As I stated before. So, uh, we have to figure out what this angle is. Um, angle A plus angle B plus angle C has to equal 180 degrees. That's what we're looking for. Angle A is equal to 180 minus B minus C is equal to 180 minus 82 minus 34. And that angle A, um, just going to give it to you, it's going to be 64 degrees. So you find little a. Oh, on this problem, they're going to uh, ask you to solve for the triangle. We're missing angle A. We're also missing little c. We're also missing little b. Okay. And so we're going to start the process. And that's, I'm going to use uh, angle A is 64. That's the easiest one. And there it is, guys. Okay. So let's get started. Angle A over A equals angle C over little c. The ratio of the sides are in proportion. The sine of A over little a is equal to the sine of big C over little c. So always write the information down, the question, um, the formulas, and you'll automatically learn to memorize them. Sine of A, which is 64 degrees, divided by little a, which is 5.6, is equal to sine of C, which is 82 degrees, divided by little c. Cross multiply. C times the sine of 64 is equal to 5.6 times the sine of 82. Since we're looking for C and we're multiplying, we divide it by sine of 64 degrees. Like I said, I didn't do this prehand, so I'm just going to use my calculator on this one. Uh, 5.6 sine, sine of 82 and parentheses C is divided by the sine of 64. Again, let's do that again. Um, as you can see, 5.6 sine of 82 divided by the sine of 64, you don't need to in parentheses, it's going to be approximately 6.2. Two significant figures, little c is 6.2. Let's find little b now. Sine of angle b over little b is equal to, I like to use this, um, not sine of C, I would like to use this original one because this is a little bit, they give you this instead of looking for the approximation, we're going to use the actual one that they gave you. 